What is up, you prostate-sucking Peter Puffers? I'm McStud. I don't know how you suck a prostate, but I'm sure some of you motherfuckers have figured it out. Welcome to the motherfucking McStud Show, but first... Oh, Swifty! A tasty motherfucking beverage. We're gonna do this better this time. Bag's tight. Tighter than a chicken pussy. <laughs> God damn it. Erg, 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 erg. Fuck me. Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Cheers, bitches. Uh, finished uh, filming the music video for my new song, Blame Me. God, I was out in about forever trying to find places to fucking film. I drove forever. In the middle of fucking nowhere. Um, but I got it done. Uh, it's gonna be cheesy, it's gonna be my old school camera. But I thought the song deserved a video. Um, so hopefully it worked. Come, it turns out better than what I'm expecting because I had forgotten how shitty that camera was. Um, but we, we'll see how it turns out. Cheers again, bitches. <clears throat> Been a busy day, really. Uh, I forgot to pick up my prescriptions yesterday, so I had to do that today. Had to go get some shit to film. Um, and I got to put a grill together after this. So, um, yeah, that's a damn mess. But anyways, motherfuckers, let's get into the fun shit. You know, it's fucking Saturday. Michael Bolton Friday was yesterday. It's fucking Saturday today. The weather's been nice. I mean, it was cloudy today. There's some sun that came out, but it was a nice day overall. Um, I also planted some grass. But it needed to be done. Like I've just never been a grad. I'm not a, I'm not a gardener. I don't fucking do landscaping. I don't like. I can throw down some grass seed, but I went and got some potting mix because I couldn't find dirt, and threw that down. Sorry, put some down. It just wasn't working. I even broke the ground up before. It just wasn't working. So I got a nice little setup right now. You know you're old when you're talking about planting grass, seed, grass seed. <clears throat> But anyways, I was thinking. You know how they sell those rape whistles, uh, typically for women, uh, so they can blow their rape whistle if they have time to in the event that someone's trying to rape them? Well, I think we should change the shape of these rape whistles. They should be in the shape of dicks, really. You know? Some dude's coming up to attack this woman, she's like, she pulls out her dick-shaped rape whistle, rape whistle, he sees that she's blowing on a dick, making a loud noise, he's like, holy fuck, that bitch can suck some dick, I like her, and on second thought, maybe that would be a horrible idea, to have rape whistles shaped like dicks, but I think it would be comical, but I believe they actually do make whistles shaped as dicks, just not rape whistles, you know? Um, I don't want a dick-shaped whistle. I don't want any dick near my mouth. In all honesty, that's, no. I'm a vagina guy. Vagina. Designer vagina. God. Speaking of vagina. I was, I was on, listening to the radio today while I was driving around and, uh, that song, Black Hole Sun, came on. Who's at my Soundgarden? Um, and I started to think about the true meaning behind Black Hole Sun. And it just fucking hit me, you know? What if this song is about a woman with an exceptionally large pussy and a dude is just doing his best to get her off with his dick, his hand, his fingers, his fist. No, he's licking that shit. But that black hole sun just won't come. That's why I said, won't you come? It won't do it. Pussy too big. Shit floppy. I mean, fuck. Damn rabbits are nesting in that bitch. It's fucking crazy. Bitch walks out the house, fucking kitten falls out. Like, where'd that cat come from? Oh, I stuck it in my pussy to keep it warm. The fuck? You hungry? Got a Kit Kat. Pulls a fucking Kit Kat out of her twat. 
Black hole sun pussy. God damn it. Ugh. Speaking of pussy, again. I hate when women talk up their shit like they some sexual fucking professional machine. You know, like, oh, you can't handle this pussy. They talk about how good their pussy is. You can't handle this pussy. Oh, you can't handle it. I'll, I'll, you'll be coming in 10 seconds. And then you try it out and it's like fucking a Walmart bag. Fucking, it sounds like it too. Like that crinkling sound. <laughs> I bitch, I thought you had some good pussy. Fuck. Fucking a Walmart bag. I can do that shit at home. I don't need a woman with a Walmart bag pussy to tell me her pussy's good. Because it's not. It's not at all. You know, and those Walmart, Walmart bags are fucking trash. You know, they get holes in them, they fucking fall apart, they break. Imagine fucking this bitch's Walmart bag pussy and it, like... Pussy lip falls off. In between, you feel something rattling around in there. Next thing you know, you, you pull out and then fucking whole fucking cervix on the bed. She got some good pussy. You're right, I can't handle that trash pussy. I can't handle it at all. Get that shit away from me. As a matter of fact, how about just a blowjob? Or a handy? <coughs> you know what, fuck it, I'll just give, I'll just, I'll take care of myself. <coughs> at this point. Plus, whew, room smells like a goddamn fucking aquatic aquarium that hasn't been tended to in 12 years. Ugh. Good pussy. You ever been at like coworkers or just out and about or at the store and someone wants to fucking talk to you? And they're just blah, 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 blah. In the back of your head, you're like, shut the fuck up. But you also know how people have business cards and they give them out, you know, as they're like trying to network, trying to, you know, advertise their brand, their business, whatever the fuck they got going on. Um, I think everyone should have a stack of fucking business cards that say, shut the fuck up on them. So when you encounter these motherfuckers, it's like, hey man, I, I, you know, it's good talking to you, there you go, and they just fucking keep going. And you fucking whip out that business card, you give it to them, and you walk the fuck away. And they're like, they, I mean, if they don't shut the fuck up to reading, shut the fuck up after reading that, I don't know what the fuck will work. Really, they were like, what an asshole. No, you're the fucking asshole, because you won't shut the fuck up. You know, some of us have fucking lies, and we got shit to fucking do. And no one gives a fuck about your fucking two-year-old falling down the fucking slide at the goddamn park. I don't even know you, dude. I, I barely know you, maybe, at that. I don't give a fuck about what you're doing in your life, really. As long as you're happy. You know, if you need help, that's one thing, but I don't need to hear your dumb fucking stories. Shit. Teach your kids slide safety etiquette. Motherfucker. I got a stupid kid too. Fucking kid climbs up the fucking slide part and then slides down the fucking stairs. Fucking breaks a leg, fucking's got scratches and fucking bruised up back. I'm like what the fuck did, what happened to your kid? He went down the slide backwards. What do you mean like he went head first? No, he climbed up the slide and he slid down the stairs. This is why I fucking hate stupid people. Our world is fucking doomed. That's our future right there. Kids slide it down slides backwards. Speaking of people shutting the fuck up, why can't bitches just shut the fuck up sometimes? You know, they just want to fucking go on and on and on. Like, there was some motherfucking attitude out there and shit like that. Like, bitch, what the fuck? Who the fuck is you? Who, who the fuck is you? Nobody. Shut the fuck up. Why are you still talking? You're over-exaggerating, you're over-dramatic, and you're fucking loud. Makes some motherfucker just want to kick him right in the motherfucking camel toe. Like, cunt, punt.
what is it uh Derek Lewis says the Black Beast says on uh, his Instagram shit <clears throat> she's okay walk away fuck that shit kick the camel toe I read this fucking article just a little bit ago actually before this video and I'm like whoa what the fuck uh, what the fuck it's on this website called Deborah Rochelle the title of the article is literally handpicked cotton is better than machine harvested bitch there's a whole population of motherfuckers that will disagree with you on that how the fuck why would you even say that why would you even create an article like that? The fuck are you talking? No. Do you know the fucking history of this country? You raggedy bitch. You got a whole website, but you don't. <sighs> bitch, take your ass out there and fucking pick that shit. If you want some fucking good quality cotton. I don't give a fuck. I am just fine and content with no one picking fucking cotton and using machines to fucking do it. Um, and I'm sure that I, I know a lot of motherfuckers that would agree with me. You raggedy ignorant bitch. Hand-picked cotton is better than machine harvested. Show me how it's done, Deborah. Come on, show me how it's fucking done. Please. Please. People are fucking stupid. I fucking hate stupid people. I hate stupidity. Fucking hate it. And well, lastly, we're at 12 minutes, shit. Lastly, I got to thinking about women again and when they fart. What are they like? I don't know how it works. But like, what if they're sitting down in a chair and they fart? You know, sometimes you fart, like, just kind of, you can feel it slipping because your cheeks are like sweaty or something. Um, it goes one way or the other. Can a fart like slip up into a woman's pussy? Like I know it could probably go over to that area, but will it go inside the vaginal canal? And if so, what happens after that? Like what if a bitch farts, slides up in her pussy, she goes and wipes off and shit, goes to have sex with girlfriend, boyfriend, who the fuck ever, and they go down on her. And they start licking that thing and then that fart slips back out of her pussy. So now they're eating fart pussy. Sometimes I hate my brain. Most of the time I love it. But this is the fucking shit I fucking think about. Fart pussy. Black hole sun pussy. Pussy wine. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking mess. Anyways, motherfuckers. I'm gonna jump off here. Got a grill to build. I'm McStud. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all bitches later. Deuces! Ah! Uh -huh.